Hi everybody and welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Charlotte and in today's video we are going to be working on my file management organization and everything. I'm sitting here next to my file cabinet and all the files are not in the right order. I recently had this file cabinet over here but I felt kind of I don't know, claustrophobic in the office. Because the file cabinet was sitting right here, the files are actually facing this way. So I can read the labels right here. But if I were sitting like where you're at, you wouldn't be able to see the labels. It's just a white back to the labels. So, but this is the file cabinet. I do need to do some work. It's, but you know, um, I need to readjust the shelves because they don't quite shut all the way like they're supposed to and they're a little cockeyed a little bit so um, I have some work to do on the files but that will be part of the process in here is trying to figure out what what's going on with these so I can actually get the door shut I will be also going through these and getting rid of things that just don't need to be in here anymore because they are out of date or I don't know I have duplicates of everything so and then there are files where I need to add more folders so like my cats for instance when I first started my pet folder I only had one cat well now I have five that actually I'm able to catch and take to the vet and really and truly each one of them should have their own folder so that way if anything happens I can just grab the last paperwork take it to the emergency vet and say this is when they last had all their shots and all of this stuff so um but yeah that's some things that we'll be working on in here I also need to figure out kind of like how I'm going to maintain the papers coming in and start like a schedule on going through all of this stuff so in the past and currently what is on my file folders I have been using the system the freedom filer for a very long time so I still have a bunch of the stickers the file folders that I have just purchased which are sitting right here um, they are one-third tabs and the stickers that I have are for one-fifth because that's what I was using before but I can still use these perfectly fine. It's the, the thing about the Freedom Filer, and we'll go into a little bit more depth, is that they have a color coding system. So it's like red stuff is permanent, orange needs to be gone through quarterly, yearly, and stuff gotten rid of. Then there's green for you know bills, receipts, all of that type of stuff blue for taxes so it kind of keeps you where you can keep things in an organized pattern and everything so but basically what we're going to start out and I'm going to show you this here shortly is uh, basically what the files look like currently and some of them have the green the majority of them are green hanging folders and then I have the manila folders inside of them and I kind of want to get rid of the manila manila folders and just and get rid of the green tabs just make everything white with them just having this stuff be color coded along with the documents inside because my vet gives me colored paper <laughs> when on certain things so um but yeah so let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like right now and like i said it's not going to be the best angle i can't even get in the closet and show you because the door opens this way and it would rest right here so um but i will show you what we currently have here and then i will start going through just grabbing a couple folders and just start going through and trying to make some type of organizing pattern i'll also be pulling out my file folders here the new ones and um trying to just kind of if I need to separate anything in the file folders, then separate them and do all of that. So that is the plan. And then we will, once we do all of that, I may have to take everything back out. So that way I can do some adjustments to this because I don't think that this should be open like this where I can get my pinky in here. You know, it's like, I don't think it should be that. I, I, I don't think it's supposed to be that way. So obviously I did something wrong when I put it together, which 
it doesn't it could happen it could happen uh but i followed the instructions so i don't know what happened anyways so um but get this all done show you what's going on and then we'll come back and start putting the labels on here and then organizing them in a better pattern moving them around to where i can open up the file and it'll be facing this way so that way i'm not so you know <laughs> um and then we'll do an after shot after all of this so i hope that this gives you some motivation to get up and go through your files as well it is a process especially if you still keep paper items i'm trying to eliminate some of the paper items however I still like to have them tangibly because sometimes my power goes out. I can't access them on my computer because the power is out. Internet, you know, things just happen. So it's nice to have them in paper form readily available and um, if needed. So I will link, of course, the file cabinet that I have, the Freedom Filer, the, the file folders, all of that stuff down in the description box below. Um, I know that the file folders were uh, between $80 and $100 total. I did buy five of them, and I believe there are 20 files in each box, so 100 And then I already had the Freedom Filer from previous, so I'm just going to try to use what I have instead of having to buy more. There are blank labels, labels in here to where I can just add some text to them and you know still have the color coding and all of that so that is what my plan is for now so let's go ahead and take a look at what what is going on inside of my file cabinet okay so as you can see here in the front of the file cabinet i have the invoices and they have it to where you get broken out to even years and odd years then the same with the taxes and all of that type of stuff right here they also give you white labels to kind of separate everything. Then going back, we have orange ones that are ones that, you know, may get updates throughout the year. So it's things that need to be uh, basically gone through on a, so this, okay, they have labels on this. The orange ones, and I don't know if you can read it, it's in white, but it says remove and replace. So basically when one new thing comes in, <laughs> The old one needs to go out and replaced. So that is all of that stuff right here. It's like all the policies, the all of that type of stuff. Okay. And then down here, the red ones say permanent in white. And then we have purple ones that are just like resources. And then taxes. I do keep file and electronic taxes. So, and I, there may be other colors as well, but that's currently what we have in here. decent stack of stuff that I just declutter from that 
from all of this. So, yay. stopping point. Fifi just flopped down in front of me. So cute when cats just flop over. Anyways, I have this stack of papers right here and another stack over here that just need to be shredded. It's a lot of shredding on top of what I already have set aside for shredding. So I have to have a shredding party here soon. Um, but I'm at a stopping point. I've gone through all the files pretty much. There are some of them like my vehicle, um, I'm trying to think what else there there are some other ones that I need to kind of go through and do more decluttering but I will do that as I'm splitting them out um, the pet one as well it, it needs to be reorganized I just didn't want to take the time to do that so um, we are that's where we're at right now okay it's been a couple days since then I am sick uh, trying to deal with all of this stuff but I wanted to give you a progress update on what has happened. So I kind of left off where I just went through the file cabinet and I emptied out everything that didn't need to be in there. It is in a huge shred pile. I have actually pulled my shredder out because I figured while I was going through two more boxes of stuff or a stack and a box of stuff um, that I would go ahead and shred some of the stuff that came through so I was able to do that and I will be slowly working through that huge stack that is up there underneath the binders and in that white bin up there but the other box that I went through was this box right here and it had stuff from my mom when she owned the house so it had like some what like the roof when the roof was replaced in the 90s and again in um, the like 2015, I think is when we had it replaced again. Uh, some of the AC stuff, the foundation, all of that type of stuff. So, um, and then there was of course a stack of stuff for her. So I'm gonna have to put this stack away because this is stuff for her property where she lives now. Um, and then the other stack of stuff that I had to go through was in this letter sorter and uh, there wasn't very much in here. It was just a couple things from my bank, my d uh, deed to my car, the title to my car. Um, so very important stuff that needs to be filed away. The rest of the stuff that is in that this letter thing all needs to go into my manual binder. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it over here because I need to go through those. Uh, I have gotten rid of a TV that doesn't work anymore and some other things that need to be i need a i need to organize that as well um but i think that might be a separate uh video as well so um excuse me <clears throat> there were some other things that i was able to go ahead and recycle so um that doesn't have any uh, necessary stuff so basically what I am going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to remove everything from the file cabinet and put it into stacks and put uh, post-it notes describing what they are so that way when I go through I can make sure I have the right labels and I try to get things grouped to the right way that they're supposed to be. And then I'm also going to try to fix the drawers because there's there's just not there's something wrong with them <laughs> let's just put it that way so i'm going to try to see if i can fix the drawers and figure out why they're not shutting properly so i'm going to go ahead and start putting like items with like items putting sticky notes and then starting to work on getting that all sorted and everything and um 
it, this is just my process. It works best for me to do this, especially in my decongestant, fuddled mind right now. Um, <clears throat> although I might have to move the box out of the room so that the cats can chew it all up. Um, but yes, so that is where we're at right now. I'm surrounded by papers and stacks and it does get a little overwhelming, especially if I'm going to be coming in here and trying to fix stuff. So, um, that is where we're at right now. So I'm going to try to get this stuff organized a little bit, get the box out of the room and get the, get the camera situated in a, hopefully a better spot. So you can see what I'm doing around here. Um, let's go ahead and get started with this. And, um, yeah. several hours later in a nap or two thrown in there as well so I have emptied out the file cabinet I have corrected the railings I just needed to like unscrew them a little bit and push the railings up and screw them back in a little bit more so that way the doors are actually um, level the right way um, so now I'm at the point where I pulled all the files out and I need to, I'm going to be taking them out of the file folders that I have, which are the green file, hanging files. Some of them in the green hanging files, there are also manila folders. And I'm going to get rid of those manila folders and I'm going to have individual hanging files for each of those manila folders within the grouping. And um, based on the filing system, the Freedom Filer that I am using, Mine, I don't know if they still do this, but mine came with this little booklet basically that kind of explains the whole process and the color coding and all of that and kind of like gives you, helps you along the way so that way you understand the whole process of this. But they also have a folder index and it's separated by color so it gives you kind of like options where you can say general folder category and it's like miscellaneous receipts and statements for December through De for January through December and you can put a 24 month cycle provides two years tax for safeguard then you can break it up into even an odd years six or 12 month cycles and all of that and it goes through like the orange ones when you have legal um, you have agreements power of attorneys trust wills all of that type of stuff um, separated and it just kind of helps you do all of that they also provide you, like, they have some that are pre-printed with the information, but they also have some where you can use your printer and print off blank, not the blank ones, but you can add your own text on there if you would like, or you can hand write them as well, which is probably what I'm going to do, or use uh, my old school label maker and make labels and put them on there. You could also use a Cricut or any of that type of stuff, which that's another option I might do as well. Uh, test it out because I have yet to use my Cricut Joy and I got it over a year ago for Christmas. So, <clears throat> um, apologize, my sickness is not helping with the voice. Anyways, so I am basically at this point going to be going through each file folder and let me let me find an example. Okay. This one is my cat, my vet one. And I have paperwork for five cats in here over the years. And I do keep all of it. It is permanent records of everything that's happened. 
So in this one, I'm actually going to split this out into five different folders. So one folder for each pet. And when I started this whole thing, I only had one cat at the time. So that had vet records. Now I have five cats with vet records. So it's time for me to split this all out. The same with like the health information. I have not only medical, but dental and eye I'm trying to think what else, prescriptions. Um, I like to keep all of that together so that way if I'm looking to see if I've taken a medicine before, it's I can just go to the prescription one and see what prescription I've had. Medical history, that type of stuff. Um, not that I have a big medical history. So that is what I'm gonna be doing is going through and splitting them out in those files and kind of doing the, the I don't, the cross paper thing and then on top of the, the file folder I'll put vet and then I once I do that I'll put each pet alphabetically so I am gonna go ahead and go through I have all, left off where everything is in the file cabinet I have it organized by color uh, I just have to have to put the I just have to put the labels onto the file folders so I've gone through and I've pretty much have put these in the color order that they need to be in and I'm just going to kind of go through here and I was able to get rid of a lot of file folders yesterday and by get rid of I had duplicates that I don't think I'm going to continue on for this go around it just takes more room more things to to figure out <music> have gone through the files I put all the sticker labels on there some of them I had to handwrite which I'm okay with uh, I using what I have without having to buy anything else so I already bought the file folders and it looks so nice in here when it is all all done um, and it's all color coded and then once I color coded them I did go through and alphabetize this section so that way it's like if you're looking for account like the bank account terms you have all the account terms and they're alphabetized by bank uh, benefits the different types of benefits that I have insurance loans utilities services all of that type of stuff and that just makes it easier for my brain because when I'm looking for something it's like okay where is it going to be and my brain just automatically tries to do alphabet alphabetical type stuff so like it does color coding and then alphabetizing that's the way it works but let me go ahead and let you take a look of what is in here how it looks as a final thing and then I will kind of talk about how I think I'm going to maintain this going forward.
Now, how am I going to maintain this? Well, I need to schedule a time in my calendar, basically about once a month, um, once a week, something like that. I think it would be more manageable to start off with once a week. And any papers, I plan on trying to empty out that letter tray that is over there with all the manuals and doing the manuals here as well in the next couple weeks. So once I get that letter tray emptied, I can put the letter tray over here and then start stacking stuff. And by the end of the week, I need to go ahead and when I'm budgeting and doing all of that stuff, then I need to make sure I'm filing everything as well. When mail comes in, I need to open up every piece of mail, basically. If it's junk, put it in the recycle bin, get rid of it. If it is something that needs to be shredded, go ahead and shred it. I think I'm gonna keep my shredder out here because I have a huge bin of stuff that needs to be shredded. So while I'm sitting here when I'm working from home and I have some free time, I might just come over here and since it's already there, just go ahead and feed it through and start working on dwindling that stack down so that way I don't have a lot of shredding that needs to be done and making sure that I don't have shredding, a lot of shredding unless it's like the beginning of the year and then that way it's have a bin for shredding and all of that. So I need to maintain that because that is a daunting, that's a huge stack. I mean, it's overflowing from the bin now. It's huge. Um, so if it is something that needs to be filed, I would put it in the letter tray and when the letter, and at the end of the week, when I'm doing my check-in for my budgets and everything, I need to file everything away. So I am going to try to stick to that. And starting this week, we're gonna start that and um, this week, meaning today is Sunday. So by next Sunday, I'm hoping to have nothing sitting over here. I will give an update at some point on how I think this is actually, how I'm maintaining it and how I am doing with it and all of that. So I will let you guys go for now. I hope that this video brought you some motivation to get up and get something done along with me, like working on your files. It is a huge daunting task. It has taken me several weeks to do this. And it's just because I had a backlog of filing that need to be done. So I'm trying to get on top of that. So that way I don't have another backlog of all of that. And it's gonna take me several weeks to start shredding everything over here. So it's, It's a huge stack. So that is it for tonight. So I will let you guys go. So have a wonderful week and I will be back next time. If you are not subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe and I will be back next time. Bye everybody. See, and I can't, can't shut the door. And um, apologize for the cats because you know, oh, there's an empty box and a cat must go into an empty box. Um, it's never, never a dull moment in this house. You buy all the toys for cats and the, the, an empty box is, makes them happy. Anyways, okay. I'm back. I am trying a different decongestant. The one that you have to actually get from the pharmacist. You know, not a prescription, but the, you actually have to walk up with the little card saying that you want this. Um, <clears throat> and seeing if that will help unclog the ears because I am tired of having my ears clogged up. Oh my gosh. So, um, waiting for that to take effect right now.